my ability to change the way that I perceive versus changing a physical world. That was one of the points that you yeah. made. So we can kind of upgrade our own perception of reality and the way that we engage with the reality that we're yeah. embedded in versus trying to necessarily change that physical yes. reality. It's often also very necessary that we become aware of that. Right? For instance, if you have self-hatred, you perceive that the universe is mean to you, that uh, you're uh, experiencing many ways, uh, ways that the universe treats you badly. And you also treat yourself badly because part of your software does not really buy into you. It thinks this thing that you are is very flawed and should not really be supported. Right? So if you don't like yourself, uh, you are going to punish yourself in some sense, which means your mind is going to create a simulation in which reality treats yourself badly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this will sometimes lead to bad outcomes, sometimes it might lead to better ones. There is a reason why your mind thinks this is the best setup. But uh, this perception that you have of reality is virtual. This identification that you have with your beliefs and your experiences is something that's generated inside of your mind. It's basically like a groove that is pulled through a, a record in a record player. Mm -hmm. And uh, the record is the groove of your life. And you're being pulled through this. And when you dream, you can put this groove into something else. Or when you are in a psychedelic state, like uh, our friend here asks. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, so this identification with what you feel, what you experience, in some sense, it's your. It can become your choice. You can yes. become responsible for this. So I can I can simulate a self hatred state, or I can simulate a self love state. Yes. And so upgrading my perception is upgrading the way that I choose yes. which I si which I simulate, which yes. which I collapse into my reality. You could also uh, get to a neutral state in which you realize that uh, all these evaluations that you put on there where you think that you are super lovable or uh, super flawed are uh, actually not helpful or not truthful. And you just are, you're just a physical system. And you're not in the category of things that has the ability to be adequate or inadequate. You just exist and you deal with that. Okay, yes, yes, <laughs> let's, let's, uh, <laughs> let's continue.